Hello everyone, today we're going to look at Yusako training broken necklace. In this problem, we're given a necklace which has n characters and each necklace has a bead that's either red, blue, or white. So then, we're supposed to calculate the maximum number of beads that can be collected from the supplied necklace. And to calculate that, we're supposed to split the necklace at any point, and then we're supposed to calculate the number of consecutive beads that are the same on the left and the right. So for this example, the best solution would to be split over here, where you could calculate your red and your blues. And one more thing, so um, a white bead that is that can be painted as either red or blue. So then over here, you could have these three whites would be plain, painted as blue, and um, and this white and this white will be painted as red. All right, now let's start building our solution. So um, here we go. All right, so let's just start with a simple example. Let's just say we have white, red, red, white, blue. Okay, so um, since the value of the n is only 350, then we can basically loop through all possible like splittings. So we can also, um, let's just say we can split it here. Then, um, then um you would start from the back because because it's basically because um the first character and the last character or the first beat and the last beat is basically connected. So so um to calculate the left one you would just start off here and you would just loop through it until you reach a character that is um that is not that is red since the first character is blue. Now then so then you would calculate it of length too your left would be equal to 2. So now you're coupling for your right. So over here, your white, right? It can be, so the color can be anything. So you just add 1 to your right, and then you go R. So then since R is the, is the like, um, is the unique color, then, then your answer would be 2, and then you would be searching until you reach a blue. So then you would calculate it of length 3. So your R would be equal to 3. So then when you sum this up, you would get um, 5, which is the optimal solution for this problem. Now, um, let me show you a case that this may not work. So, um, if it was like, um, if it was like white, 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 then um, if we search left and right, our left would be 4, because um, we would keep looping through it until we reach the beginning. And then your right will also be 4, because you're starting from this and you're reaching from that. But when you sum it up, it's 8. Which is not possible since there's only 4 beads in the necklace. So what do we do now? Like, we can necessarily, um, we can just, like, take the minimum of this and n. So then, since min of 8 and 4 is equal to 4, this is our optimal solution. So um now for the implementation we have a few choices. Like as I said before, you can just brute force it and just do what the problem says. But there's also another solution that's faster, but it's not needed, but I'll just teach you it. So um this topic is called um dynamic programming. Dynamic programming. Alright, so let's look at, um, let's just look at the case again. So we have, let's just say R, R, white, R, actually let's put a blue over here, so, blue, oops, blue, white, R, R. So let's, um, let's have a diagram, let's have a DP array of from 1 to I, that's given the, um, the size of the um the continuous section of red or blue. So um let's define because this is basically index zero one two three four five six and seven. So um 
let's look at this. So for one, if your answer, I mean your DP of Ray of index one and your R character would be one because there's one continuous R character. And same for that, your DP. Oops, DP of one of blue will be equal to zero because the last continuous will be zero. And then your DP of two R will be equal to two because there's two continuous. And your two blue will be equal to zero because there's zero continuous. And for a three, your R would be equal to three because this can be painted as either red or blue, which red, it would be three. And for this one, three, B, your answer for this would be one because it would, it's basically the last one plus if it's possible to put a blue there. Now, um, let's just say we finish calculating the left one. So let's just say, let's actually call this DP of left. And now for our DP of right, because we're calculating it from here to here, you can um, basically, you basically do the same thing, but you just go in reverse order. So let's just do this. So DP of seven, will be equal to, um, actually there's one more thing that I should mention. Since um, it's a circular necklace, it's actually easier to just copy the string one more time. So then we can just always take um, a substring of length n to, to, um, to calculate the answer. So, so in this case, we would just add more characters in the duplicate form. R R W B W R R. All right. So this is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So then this would be DP of. Let's call this right. So right of fourteen. Of R. Be equal to one because there's one, and then. Same thing for 14, blue will be equal to zero. And 13 of R would be equal to two because there's two continuous ones. And blue would be equal to zero. And over here, the same thing. Since it's W, it can be either red or blue. So it will be 12, R equals three. 13, I mean 12, my bad. 12, blue, be equal to one. All right, so after this, um, here's the basic logic here. So um, after we calculated this, if we just take the, let's just say we have uh, this string, okay? So let's just say um, it's RR something, 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 RR. If we take the, basically, Let's just say if we split it over here, then it's base here. It's basically the answer of our left DP, and over here it's basically the answer of our right DP. So over here, so basically after we're done calculating this in O and time, we can just loop it through again, and we can take the maximum of your left of I and your right of i plus one because we cannot include the current like because we're splitting it so it's basically from one point and then we start from the next one so this is i and then this is i plus one so um let's just get to this coding so um let's go okay so over here include our header file So we have n, right, which is the which is the length of the beats. And then we have our string, let's just call this our necklace, which is, let's just call it s. So into main, so let's use um, if stream to, uh, to read our files. Since we're reading it from beats that in and outputting it to beats that out. So it would be if stream fn beats that in of stream 
I thought beads that out. All right, so you're reading N and S, and over here, um, let's let's just make it um make the shrink. As I said before, we should make it. We should like duplicate it so we can make it in a circular shape, kind of. So you can do S. It'd be equal to S plus S, and since um in my example like before, uh. I use like one indexing, so let's just add a space in the beginning and a space to the end. So let's add a space. All right, so now we, we're going to calculate our left DP. So let's call this into left. And our maximum N is 350. So And then so we would just multiply it by 2 because we're duplicating it here. So then it, let's just put it as 800 to be safe to your left. And then Let's have it like two, like, uh, let's have two of those because let's just say zero is red and one is blue. Okay, so for, um, um, basically, um, in the beginning, you would have, like, before anything, everything would be zero. So you go, like, left of zero of zero would be equal to left of zero of one to be equal to zero. So basically, this is just setting like the beginning of red and blue to zero so now we loop through from for i equals one i mean one to n plus n which is the end of this so and then you increment your i so we have a few cases so if s of i is if it's r then you would and then your current one would be equal to the previous one plus one so your left of i will be equal, I mean, i of 0 will be left of i of 1, I mean, i minus 1 of 0 plus 1. And then your, and then your blue would reset because it's a different color. So then your left of i of 1 will be equal to 0. Now, another case is if it's blue. So if it's blue, then your left of i of 1, which is blue, would be equal to the previous 1 plus 1. So it would be left of i minus 1, 1 plus 1. And then your red would reset. So it would be f of i, 0, would be equal to 0. For next case, um, it will be if if it's white. Okay, so if it's white, then then um, both your red and blue will be equal to, to the previous 1 plus 1. So then your left of i of 0 will be equal to left of i minus 1, 0 plus 1, and same would go for the blue one. So left of i, 1 blue, would be equal to the previous one of blue plus 1. All right, so now we're done calculating our left. So now we need to calculate our right. So let's just initialize it the same. So int right, 800 and 2. So again, 0 is red and one is blue. And this applies to the second dimension of the array, not the first one. The first one is the character you're currently on. So here we have your right of, it should be n plus n plus one, n plus n plus one, because it's the, it's basically the space, which is nothing. Of zero will be equal to, you set it the same for the red and blue. Um, yeah. Okay, so then, basically, you're supposed to loop it through from the end to the beginning. So then it would be from n plus 1, I mean, n plus n, i would be equal to that. i has to be equal to zero, 1, and then you just decrease it. So if it's, if it's red, then it would basically be the previous 1 plus 1. And in this case, the previous one is i plus 1, because you're looping through from the right. So it would be left of, I mean, right of i plus 1, 0 equals, I mean, it, it would be equal to, right, of i plus 1, 0 plus 1, and then again, the right of i of blue p will be equal to 0, so i of 1 equal to 0. So another case is if it's blue, so if si equals blue, and blue, right of i of 1, which is blue, 1 is blue, would be equal to the previous one, which is i plus 1, 
right? I plus one, one plus one, and then the red would reset. All right, so the last case is if it's if it's um if it's white, then your right of your i of red would be equal to the previous one plus one, and same would go for the blue one. So right of i plus one, zero plus one, and the right of i of the blue one, which is one, would be equal to the next one, or actually it's the previous one, which is i plus one. So be right of i plus one. 1 plus 1. Alright, so now we need to calculate our answer. So let's call answer it into answer. And in the beginning, you have zero characters. So now you can go from, you can go from i equals 1 to i equals n plus n. So i equals 1. Okay, so this basically means that we're splitting it. it we're splitting it at i. So then it would actually be answer be max answer because you want the maximum of so in our left side we want the maximum of the blue and the red so it would be maximum of maximum of the left of i of zero which is red and the left of i of one which is blue and then you and this and the same goes for the right side. So it'll be max right i plus one because you're skipping this same character zero, which is red, and the same goes for the right. And the same goes for blue. Alright, so now um if it goes over n, we just take the minimum of it and n. So it'd be answer would be equal to the minimum of answer and n. So then you would just print your answer. Okay, let's create the, I mean, a file. It's beads.in. So let's get the sample case. All right, now let's run it. Okay, oh yeah, so um, looks like right is a keyword, so we can just make it, we can just change it to, let's just say, right. Um, left, we can just change it to left. Alright, let's run it. Alright, let's see if we produce so 11. Looks like that is right. So, um, actually, I'll just submit it to check one more time. So, my ID is... Wait, my ID, it will be ID... My ID is Donald three, and then your problem is it would be this is called beads, and then the um the language is C plus plus. Okay, so let's submit it. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, it's here, here, the necklace, and main.cp. Oh, looks like I labeled my language wrong, so it's actually C11. So, submit it again. Okay, it looks like that is right. Now, thank you for your time, and if you have any questions, you can leave it, leave it in the comment section below. Bye.